Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell from Mr. Campbell Rocks. Hopefully you've had a fantastic uh, couple weeks, um, been spending time with the family, getting ready for the new school year. So this is not a tutorial, this is more of an update from the G Suite updates, but it's important to understand what this means for you and your organization as you start to work more with Google Meet and Calendar and you're changing owners and ownership. And so there's nothing really to show you, but to explain what this means for you. So you can find it here at G Suite's uh, updates.googleblog.com. It came out last week. Um, I'm going to read through it and just kind of explain what this means to you. So previous, previously in Google Meet and Google Calendar, when you were the owner and you created a Google Meet, what would happen is that would have all of your preferences as the calendar owner. When you shared that event, when you made it uh, so that somebody else was the owner or that they now own that, your preferences and your... Um, basically um, privileges still were attached to that Google calendar um, that is now changing. So let's just, let's just go through and would read it. So we're making some changes that will affect the Google meet video conferencing policies applied to the Google calendar event that is organized by a delegate or when a meeting is transferred. Uh, so there's the, those are the two, right? They're highlighted in blue and you can click on these, right? I'll put the links below. Uh, anyway, in both cases, Google Meet video conferencing policies will now be based on the person who owns the calendar event, not the delegate or the the delegate or the original event owner. So now, when the event is transferred to, to you, all of your preferences and all of your policies for your own Google Calendar will take basically priority over whatever it was before. So, what does that mean? So. Right now, what it affects is it affects the changes will only apply to new meetings created after the launch, which was last week. Over the next several weeks, what they'll do is they'll apply the changes to existing events as well. So if you have reoccurring events in a Google Meet or a Google Classroom and you have a co-teacher or you have a reoccurring meeting that you have with your staff or your leadership team or your your small team or grade level team, whatever that means is it'll take a couple of weeks for that to update. But for events created or shared in calendars, new calendars that you create, the policies will be applied based on the user that adds the Google Meet link. So once that is changed, then it goes to the new owner. So here's a specific example, right? Previously, any Meet video settings would be applied based on the delegate settings. So now settings will be applied based on the calendar owner settings and so will be consistent with events that the owner organizes themselves. Previously, what happened is if a delegate left an organization, the Google Meet video conferencing link in the meeting would, it wouldn't work anymore, right? So now it will continue to work even if that person leaves. So that's if it's set up by delegates, right? Now, when it's the ownership is transferred, what that means is if the two people are in the same organization and they have different access policies, the new meet or the new link will be changed to the new event owner settings. And that's right here. Now settings will be applied based on the new event owner settings. So what does that mean? Previously, if the owner or the original owner of the, the transferred event left an organization, so let's say I created the meeting like last year, but then I left the organization, it would stop working. Now it will continue to work. That ownership just gets moved over to whoever is the owner of that calendar or who created that. So uh, the time frame for this is rapid release. The full feature is available now. It's something that I didn't need to really give you a tutorial on. It's just more of an explain what it means for you and your organization. Um, so again, if it is an event that is being transferred, the new owner will have all of the policy changes that will be connected to their calendar. And if it was set up by a delegate, it will be that of the delegate. All right. Awesome. I know this was quick. I know it was super kind of not typically what I do, but I think it was important for you. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.